<laughs> Welcome back, fellow fans. Welcome back to RimWorld. Ah, uh, <laughs> did not have a very good last time. Oh, uh, those poor Southwest Fell Files Planetary Company did not have a very good time. But today, let's check out Dub's Bad Hygiene. This is something I've been wanting to check out for a while. And then I went and watched uh, someone playing with it. And I'm like, nope, nope, gotta do this next. Gotta do this next. Let's see, we've got um, <clears throat> animal gear. Prepare carefully. I believe it'll go right here. Let's see, what else we got? Brain in a Jar, Cosmic Horrors, Cults. <clears throat> uh, Cthulhu Factions. Reducing the Sound of Cats. Ceramics. Nah, nah. Um, more hair, adding a trait, cas crazy cat lady, creatures of key. Hmm. Maybe another time. Dermo regenerator, divat factions, <clears throat> goblins, fishing, clothing, fishing, genetic rim. I'm gonna try to do less animals. So I'm staying away from Genetic Rim. Uh, Skeletal Legion. What? Sure. That sounds fun. I don't remember adding that. I assume that that would go where the ratkin are. <clears throat> where are the ratkin? Here they are. And speaking of the ratkin, let's remove them. We've been doing enough with them. You know what? Let's add the, the goblins. And we'll remove the curin as well. Let's have a cat, let's have a cat, a dog said patch. More shells. Hmm. I never use shelves. Do they add something? Is there a need to add shelves? I'll put it here. Permafrost. Maybe another time. Potions. <clears throat> this is an interesting one. Sure, let's throw potions in here. Pygmy Muffalo. Another time. We'll check that out another time. Wait, isn't arachnophobia already in here? Did I remove arachnophobia? Eh, if I removed it, let's keep it removed. And you know what? <clears throat> let's remove werewolves as well. Seeds, please. Oh, this is a fun mod. But I wouldn't play it in a cold bi- I wouldn't play with it in a cold biome. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. 
You know what? F it. We won't play in a cold biome this time. I really like the seeds mod. It adds seeds, of course. Thanks for all the fish. Vanilla animals expanded. You know what? Let's put vanilla animals expanded in here. Where are the donkeys? <clears throat> donkeys are right here. Can't do a whole much at once, apparently. Vanilla apparel expanded. Nah, nah, not this time. Vanilla factions expanded? Medieval. Hmm. <clears throat> Wands and spells. Sure. Where's that potions? I think this is by the same person. <clears throat> Fantasy fan? Yeah. Witch's Garden. Throw that in there as well. What the heck? More hairs. I like these hairs. They're a bit, a bit more basic. Hair. I don't see any hairstyle mods. Did I remove them? Ah, uh, B people. Oh, B19. Aha, that's funny. <clears throat> okay, so that leaves us with Room World of Magic, of course. Can't not play with that. And because we're playing with Worm World of Magic, we've got prepare carefully. We've got the hair, dubs bad hygiene. This adds a sewage system, toilets, bathing, hygiene related needs, etc., etc. <clears throat> Alpha animals. I say I enjoy animals too much. I enjoy animals too much. <clears throat> but can I do multiple? I cannot. Ooh, should I have those animals I added be up there? We'll find out. Spoon's hair mod. Gurry May. Animal gear. I never use this. I really should. I should. Um, auto owl. This is great. It automatically adjusts for the uh, night owl colonists. Allow tool. Pretty good. Animal tab. Rim quest. Adds quest givers to trader groups and caravans. Uh, animal collab. Industrial age. This is a fun one. <clears throat> Real big fan of this one. If if nothing else, I enjoy the telegraph. But the radio, so good. Better pawn control. Not sure what that does. Fahrenheit and Celsius. I wanted to get rid of the other one of these. Feed the colonists. Viable quest rewards. Embrasures. That just makes sense. We've had holes in walls to fire through since medieval times and probably before. It just makes sense. Camera Plus, a great way to zoom. Really love that. <clears throat> More faction interaction. Vanilla factions expanded. More furniture. Ah, the tiny table. That's where that's where this is from. I prefer the, I like the one by one table. More floors, more trade ships, poppies. Poppies weren't as rare as I expected them to be. I'll remove them. Donkeys, vanilla animals expanded, vanilla animals expanded. 
Defensive positions. I never use this. I should. Ah, this changes skill degradation. Minify everything. Another animal mod. <clears throat> Another ma magic mod. I think that one adds magic mo mobs. Animals. This one notifies you when pawns level up. I really like this. Locks. This is so good. I don't use it enough. Big fan of color-coded mood bar. Makes it really uh, so much easier to figure out someone's mood. Hospitality. That's a fun mod. Holy washer. I have the Dubs Bad Hygiene mod, which adds its own washing machine. So I'm removing that. Heat map, all to stack. Celsius and Fahrenheit. Here's the one. Remove. Real ruins, more shelves. Bones! This one drops bones to use as materials. Vegetable garden. Seeds, please. Where's my weapon? Tiny table. I already, I already have a tiny table. Why is there two tiny tables? And the mod I never use, save our ship. Because you're supposed to beat the game in order to use it. Okay. Let's start preparing carefully. Once it reloads. And now to prepare carefully. Let's do <clears throat> tribes people. Hmm. Yes. Maynard Medieval? Yeah, no. Let's give Randy Random a try. We haven't done him before. <clears throat> Struggle. That's a good one. Didn't I remove the Kirin? Is this not a Kirin? <clears throat> and there is always only one of these guys. I don't know what it is. There's only one of this faction. Ever. <clears throat> what are we talking about here? Average temperature 2. Average temperature 3. Forest Desert. I like the location next to these magic guys.
Yeah, yeah, I like this area. The Human Skin Wearer Tribe. <clears throat> they seem nice. Actually, negative 16 to 21, that's pretty good. But I like this area with all this wide variety of different groups. And it's next to these guys. <clears throat> mountainous, flat, mountainous, mountainous, large hills. What are we talking about here? Is large hills, large hills, mountainous, large hills, small hills. So mountainous is the largest. Mountainous is probably not what we want. We've got small hills, we've got small hills, we've got large hills, but we've got a river. <clears throat> I haven't really done much with the watermill. Yeah. Okay. Randomize. Magically gifted. Oops. I wanted two magically gifted people. Prepare carefully right there. <clears throat> a necromancer? <sighs> Do we need another micro... Oh, hey, Kazmir! Oh, man, you missed it yesterday. Uh, uh, did you see? We all died. It was horrible. It was real horrible. Should I get another necromancer? I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe a summoner. We had a summoner for a minute there. A druid? Sure, sure. Hmm, an ice mage. A death knight? I've never messed with the death knights. Lightning mage. An arcane mage? Sure. Fire Mage. Another Fire Mage? <laughs> uh, out and about volunteering. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Well, there's a summoner, but they've got an abrosia addiction. I rarely come across these people at the bottom anyways. I'll just settle for another <laughs> dying is so fun, especially when it's everyone. Yes, yes indeed. Um Succubus uh, 
magically gifted it is. Let's prepare carefully. So what happened was... Everyone died during an elemental assault. But I had two random nobodies running off to do a quest. And they came back... Well, as they were coming back, there was a toxic fallout. So I was like, F it. Just settle where you are. So we settled there. And then later we tried to, to reclaim it. But... The elementals destroyed the entire base. It was crazy. Brawler? This guy's a brawler. Well then, instead of magically gifted, let's make you a blade dancer. Can't really see the hair. And let's make you kitten. And a random magically gifted person. Yes, Elemental says it all. Um, this one's sickly. And a teetotaler. Teetotaler. That's, that's fine. Whatever. Um, don't know what's going on there. Inclusive child and... Incapable of he cleaning, hauling, and plant work. Why? Because of being a war chief? Well, then let's just get rid of this. We have another necromancer. I wasn't planning on getting one. Will I go down anymore? Stab Scar in the head. Too smart. Well, if I get rid of that, does that give me more points? It does not. So that one gives you no points? Okay, sure. <clears throat> I don't want him to have a stab scar. I have no idea what's going on here, but let's go for it. <laughs> nice, nice. Let's have this one be me. I really can't see the hairs, but okay. Okay, so we've got uh, Blade Dancer, Magically Gifted, Necromancer, Druid, Arcane Mage. So for the Magically Gifted one, I'm just going to randomly generate a uh, random ma mage thing.
psychically deaf. Okay, so so we've got the necromancer in charge of intellectual. We've got someone in charge of plants. Let's lessen that and increase that. Melee for the brawler. And is good at animals. Nice. Cooking. Okay, the druid will be good for cooking. And medical. Good, good. What else then do we have? Crafting? Mining? Well, the uh, Blade Dancer is good with mining. <clears throat> wow. You know what? Let's make this Kazmir. Golden Casimir right here. Then we've got the Druid. Let's make you the Earthman. <clears throat> and we don't know what you will be. Hmm. Let's have you be Timran. Sure, sure. Mm I kind of want to make the uh, random three be related to some of these people. So let's give Casimir... How do I give Casimir a sibling? Casimir and Alligator. Then let's give... Mama Ergo. And Kitten Sibling Status. Sure. Other relationships? Um, Mama Ergo. Ex lover. Of Timrin. Why not? Why not? Okay, so what's this mean over here? I don't understand these points. Use point limits. Point remaining negative 167. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I don't want a Zanguin Winnerin. That gives me a lot of points. I don't want a male monkey. I could do with another Animus Fox. Hmm. Well, we got all these points remaining. Jeez. 
Stab scar. Stab scar. Let's remove some stab scars. Okay, that didn't change the points. Who's the chef? The Earth Man. That's a lot of points. Let's stick to a, a safe eight. And Kitten. Animals, let's bump you up a bit. Now that's brought us to 86 left. Can we get more money? How about food? <clears throat> I don't know. How about a weapon? steel club as opposed to a wooden club or maybe a second steel iqua <clears throat> sure a second steel iqua which puts us barely over and then Yeah, the seeds. And then we're going to want to randomize the Timrin. And that will give him a random class. So that's not going to count towards our point total because we're just randomly giving him a class. But do we want seeds? <clears throat> We added the seeds. I think we should just chance it. I could get some crocodile eggs. Welcome back, Casimir. We were just about to start. I spent too many points because we did the random spell book. Otherwise, I was just eight over, which is close enough. Close enough. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> the gods were very angry. The blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blades and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. 
Now, after a harrowing journey on foot and with no close friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness like your ancestors. Okay, so let's start off by giving Timrin a class. What does he get? Oops, I told him to read, pick that up instead of read it, didn't I? Read. He got the summoner. Hmm, interesting. That's one that I was considering using anyways. Nice, nice. Now, Kitten is our blade dancer. Is the jade knife better than the pilas? I think the pilas are ranged. Oh, these are Iquas. Well, I got the wrong thing. I thought that was a Pila. Um, 6.7. 5.3. Tim is a summoner. Here's the Pila. Here's me. Let's give me a stick. Here's the Earthman. Earthman can have a bow. And here's you, Casimir. Let's give you a bow and the steel equa as a sidearm. So what do we got? Uh, I did not check for hunting. Oh, Kitten is a good hunter. That's good, that's good. 7.5, huh? 